What up guys, so in today's video we're going to do a video comparison of three different microphones that you can use while moto vlogging. Uh, the first one is going to be just a cheap generic no name brand, um, $8 Amazon special. Second one is going to be the very popular Purple Panda microphone, it's what I'm using right now. Um, a lot of moto vloggers including Chase on two wheels have recommended this in the past and uh, uh, we'll see how it does my first time using it today. And then I'll be comparing to a Audio-Technica ATR3350, I believe is the model name. Now, I, I gotta say, I've already tested the cheap one and I've already tested the Audio-Technica, so this is my first time testing the Purple Panda. Let's start with the cheap one. The cheap one at slow speeds was just fine. Here's a, here's a sample of the cheap $8 no-name brand Amazon Special Microphone at city speeds. What up guys, Adrian from New Motorcycle, and in today's video we're going to be talking about um, dyno tuning versus auto tuning your motorcycle and which one is better so as you can tell decent you know I, I no immediate complaints for me i'm not a audiophile not a super techie person but to me that's that's fine the problem is when you take the cheap one on the highway this is what ends up happening mustang and uh, i'm probably forgetting a couple other ones so, oh sergeant just hit me in the leg. That is terrifying. Because I have my camera equipment and my cell phone. Okay, I don't know what it was, but uh, my camera's still here. Now let's compare that to the Audio Technica. Audio Technica at slow speeds sounds like this. Okay, so now we're on the Audio Technica microphone. We're leaving the observatory. And um, this microphone. Theoretically, it's the better microphone. Again, sounds okay, but there's something there's something missing there, and I, I didn't figure it out what it was until I heard it on the highway. All right, now we're doing 100. I'll see if I can get up to 120. This fan's going too slow. I don't have the space. The Audio Technica is very good at blocking out background noises wind noise other trucks whatever you got on the road with you however it also blocks out the exhaust sound of your motorcycle so when you rev it up you don't you don't really capture that in the audio technica and what i'm hoping for is the purple panda will be somewhere in between so let's let's review Purple Panda at low speeds. Well, right now we're doing about city speeds. We're only doing about 50 kilometers an hour, maybe like 30 something miles per hour. And uh, let me know in the comments how the Purple Panda sounds. Is there any popping, any hissing, any excessive wind noise? I should also mention I'm on a uh, 650cc single. So that's the motorcycle I'm on. And the test helmet is a Arai profile. So this is not some cheap um, plastic shell HJC with minimum insulation. This is a like full-on fiberglass handmade in Japan shell um, Good quality helmet. So Any noise I believe should be more, you know associated with the mic than with a poor quality helmet And lastly, let's talk about this purple panda at uh, at highway speed. So I'll throw back the audio from a little bit earlier So right around this speed is when the cheap helmet started crackling out like crazy I have no idea how the purple panda is going to do because it's my first time taking it on the highway with it actually recording. <laughs> Had a little problem last time. So yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys... What an idiot. <laughs> Messed up my corner there. What do you guys think? What do you guys like or dislike or prefer? Now I'll give you my take on all three. Um, I'll start with the Amazon one. Bang for your buck, if you're only going to be doing city speeds or you want something for off-road riding where you're not going to be going very fast, a cheap no-name $10 lavalier is probably going to be good enough for you, to be totally honest. But the minute you start going on on um, highway speeds, I have lost, you know, a good, at least a good hour of footage that I won't use because the audio is so bad um, that I don't want to, I don't want to burden you guys with that bad audio. I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice. And ultimately I make these videos to try and help motorcyclists out. I don't really make them for myself, so I want the audio to be good enough that you guys, you know, don't hate me. <laughs> 
Next up, the Audio-Technica. Honestly, for some people, this might be your go-to. It's great at blocking out background noise. It's great at, you know, you, you don't have to worry about a lot of wind if a loud truck passes by, the sound of your exhaust, maybe you don't like a motorcycle sound for whatever reason. Um, that's gonna be great. You're gonna appreciate that. You're gonna enjoy that silence. The Audio-Technica, for that reason, for me, was out. Another reason you guys might wanna be, um, you know, I don't want to say avoid the Audio Technica, but just something to consider. The Audio Technica uses its own battery and it has its own on and off switch. So I have possibly made the mistake in the past of not turning it on and everything you just recorded has no audio. I have also made the mistake of leaving it on and then when I was recording the next day, guess what? The battery died because the battery had been on since the night before and who knows how many hours before that. So it's, it's, I'm not knocking it, it's it's different, so it's something to consider. And as for the Purple Panda, well, maybe I'll uh, just flip over to myself in the garage and uh, give you my final thoughts after reviewing this footage. All right, so after watching that, man, the grass is always greener because I'm watching it and I'm thinking, I like the Purple Panda, but I wish it was a little bit less noisy. But the Audio Technica is definitely quieter, but it's it's almost too quiet. I'm missing the exhaust pipe, I'm missing the wind, I'm missing that really immersive experience of what motorcycle riding is realistically like. So maybe the Purple Panda is a little bit more true, or maybe we like the quieter, more quality sound of the Audio Technica. Let me know in the comments, what should I use? Cause I'm sort of stumped on this. Right now I'm leaning towards the Purple Panda. And the reason for that is what I already mentioned. There's no on off switch I can goof up. There's no battery that can goof up on me. The second reason is it comes with adapters so I can use it not only with a DSLR and my GoPro, I can use it with older generation GoPros. I can also use it with my uh, cell phone. So if I need to vlog on the go, I like that I have that option. Those are things that the uh, Audio Technica does not come with, but the Purple Panda does. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate your support. And if you want to see more videos by a motorcyclist whose job is helping motorcyclists, please hit subscribe. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Ride safe, but have some fun. Peace.